Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Technics Media. Today we are going to talk about the keyboard, the on-screen keyboard on Samsung Galaxy Note 2. We are going to share some tips and tricks, some hidden options which you have for the Samsung Android keyboard uh, which is there on Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And we are going to talk about the options which might be useful for you. So let's start first of all. Whenever we unlock the device and whenever you type on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, uh, this one is running Android 4.1.1 uh, that is Jelly Bean and we do have all the options which are there in Jelly Bean for the keyboard as well. So you do have the swipe to swipe uh, over the over the keys on the keyboard. So you can use the continuous input that is there. So this is how it works. So you can actually type by using uh, by swiping your finger over the keyboard keys and you do have other options because this comes with the S Pen as well. It does have so with this pin you can easily type uh, without using your fingers so that is how you can actually type for this you need to tap over here and then you will have a screen a small screen where you can actually type by using the S pin so let's type And this is how you can easily type using S Pen on Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Apart from this, we are going to tell you some other things related to the keyboard. You do have the access to the symbols, which is over here. So you can access all the symbols from here. It does give you the suggestion when you start typing using the on-screen keyboard. You can change the keyboard language or the orientation, basically, the type of the keyboard by uh, by selecting it from here. You can select the UK type keyboard for English and other languages as well if supported. Then you do have access to other symbols. Apart from this, you can always uh, hold the phone in the landscape mode to actually have the keyboard in landscape orientation and the keyboard keys will become bigger and it is much more easy to type in the landscape mode. Uh, however, the phone display is quite big that which is 5.5 inch. So uh, you won't have any problem in typing in the vertical mode as well. If we go into the settings of this particular keyboard, uh, we can go to the settings uh, by going to settings and then selecting language and input. Under language and input, you do have all the settings which are related to the input. Uh, and we can go to the Samsung keyboard settings. The default keyboard is right now Samsung keyboard. You can always have the Google voice typing, voice typing keyboard as well, with which you can actually use your voice for typing instead of tapping on the screen or using the S Pen. You can type with the voice. And let's first of all go into the Samsung keyboard settings. And here are the keyboard settings which we can see. First of all, you have the portrait keyboard types that is the QWERTY keyboard. You can always enable the 3 into 4 keyboard which is the normal keyboard which you see on feature phones. Then you have input languages uh, which are there. Uh, these are the input languages which support which is supported on the keyboard on Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, one thing is that if you change the keyboard to the 3 into 4 keyboard, let me just show you how does the keyboard look like when you change it. So when you change it, it will look like this. So this is how the keyboard will look like on Samsung Galaxy Note 2 if we change the keyboard to 3 into 4 type keyboard which this is the kind of keyboard which you see on feature phones. Uh, some of some people love this kind of keyboard but not all. So let's go and let's go to the settings again in the language and input settings. Here we are in the language input setting and we can change the keyboard type over here. Let's convert this to QWERTY keyboard, which is the full QWERTY keyboard, which you see on a keyboard, uh, normal computer keyboard. Then you have predictive text, uh, text, which is actually displaying you the suggestions when you are typing using the on-screen keyboard. So whenever you type using the on-screen keyboard, it will start suggesting uh, the word you are trying to type. For example, if I, if I'm tapping, typing like this. So it is actually suggesting me the words which could be related to uh, the kind of word I'm going to write. So I can choose from the suggestion and the suggestions will appear over here in the uh, text box. 
then uh, then you have continuous input which will give you the facility of typing over the keyboard without you actually need to type on each and every letter you can swipe your finger across the keyboard keys to type and this feature works in this way uh, for example if you are typing using the on-screen keyboard and you want to write the word techniques media so you can do it like this So this is how you can easily write the word by swiping your finger over the keys on the keyboard and this is the continuous input feature for Samsung keyboard on Samsung Galaxy Note 2. You have other options uh, which is the pen detection. So you can have the uh, you can write using the S pen which we just demonstrated to you and then you have the one hand operation as well so that uh, because this device has a big display size of around 5.5 inch capacitive touch screen. Uh, in um, there are times when you would like to type on Samsung Galaxy Note 2 with only one of your hand using only one of your hand with your thumb or your fingers so in that case you can enable this one handed operation mode in which the keyboard will be shifted to uh, do, to one side of the screen which will help you to write uh, so in this case if you are going to write using the on screen keyboard the keyboard will be shifted to uh, either to the right side or to the left side as per your own preference so you can type using only one hand only in this case in this case and then you can tap on these fingers and start writing only with one hand so this is another quite handy feature which could be useful for many people out there then you have the handwriting feature that is there so if you want to use this feature you can have the uh, recognition type to stroke recognition and then recognition time pen thickness a blue color pen and all those things so this this thing is quite useful for people who would like to use s pen for typing uh, by using this feature and then you can you can have different kind of uh, settings over here you can have the recognition time so as per your speed of writing with the s pen you can specify all these settings and the color of the pen and everything you do have a gesture guide over here with which you can actually get to know how to write on your samsung so that it automatically recognize what you are actually uh, how to write on your samsung galaxy note so that it precisely recognize what you are trying to write using this guide then you have a tutorial here as well which will with which uh, which actually tells you how you should use the s pen for writing using the gesture typing feature then you do have the advanced setting mode under the advanced setting mode you have the auto capitalize capitalization of the letters of the first letter of the sentence so in case you are writing a sentence using the um, keyboard or using the s pen then you you have this feature on then the first letter will be capitalized and then you have the auto punctuate feature which will automatically insert a full step by tapping the spacebar twice uh, while using the quote keyboard another thing which is the character preview that it will show you a big character a bubble when you are actually typing on the qwerty keyboard whenever that particular key is typed uh, we will just show you that feature then you have the key tap vibration in which actually whenever you tap on any of the key it will give you a vibration feedback that particular key has been typed and there is a key tap sound as well which you would like to enable or disable that is up to you so if you have if you want these things to be there you can enable these and if you want don't want the sound or the vibration when you are typing using the on-screen keyboard you can disable these things uh, let me just show you this feature the character preview thing so whenever you are typing and whenever you tap on any of this thing any of the character on any of the keys it will show you this bubble that this particular character has been typed so it will give you a more precise idea of what you are tapping on when when it comes to the keyboard on samsung galaxy note 2 if you go into the set reset all the settings which you have configured on the samsung keyboard from here and this is how you can remove any customization if you have made on the samsung keyboard and if you want to revert, revert to the default uh, samsung keyboard settings you can revert from here then you have the google voice typing keyboard which is always there uh, on 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 the samsung galaxy note it comes inbuilt it will block the offensive word it will download the offline speech recognition as well so you will only use the google voice typing keyboard once you are actually typing on samsung galaxy note 2 with voice apart from this the samsung keyboard is quite um, quite well so you don't need to change the default keyboard or the samsung keyboard which is there then you have a uh, then you have the voice recognizer which is again from google you have the voice search and then you have mouse and pointer speed uh, all these options are related to the google uh, 
Sam Google keyboard, uh, Google voice typing keyboard for Samsung Galaxy Note 2. That's all from us uh, regarding the tips and tricks and uh, information on different options related to the language and keyboard, uh, language and input keyboard settings on Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I hope this video helped you. You, uh, if you actually like this video, if this video helped you, please click the like button and do subscribe to our YouTube video channel that is youtube.com/slash Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.